KitchenAid stand mixers are powerful machines, making baking projects infinitely easier than mixing by hand. This benefit alone makes having a stand mixer worth the investment, but no matter which KitchenAid model you have, it's built to do so much more than just mix. The KitchenAid power hub connector at the top front of every mixer connects to dozens of different appliance attachments, including pasta makers, juicers, shredders, spiralizers, grinders, and food processors. We've listed the top six KitchenAid attachments and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, validconsumer.com. Number 6. KitchenAid Fresh Prep Shredder Slicer Attachment If you don't like shredding cheese and carrots, hello shredded knuckles, the Fresh Prep Shredder Slicer takes the handwork out of the task with an attachment that helps you easily slice or shred veggies and other foods. Ashley had glowing reviews and memories from the Fresh Prep Shredder Slicer Attachment. Her mother-in-law's giant shredder and slicer attachment has made gallons and gallons of coleslaw and sauerkraut from my neighborhood after doing decades of duty in Ohio. We use it at our house and people borrow it and it's just the best. Number 5. KitchenAid KICA 0WH Ice Cream Maker Attachment Making ice cream at home is fun and allows you to customize flavors, but since ice cream is a seasonal treat and standalone ice cream makers take a bit of space, you might be reluctant to invest in one. That's where this attachment comes in handy. It consists of a special bowl that can live in your freezer when not in use and a paddle that attaches to the mixer to stir the ice cream as it freezes. The bowl fits directly onto the arms of the bowl lift models and there's an adapter included to make the bowl work on tilt head models. Like other freezer bowl ice cream makers, this allows you to freeze one batch of ice cream at a time before the bowl needs to go back into the freezer again. We made two batches of ice cream with this attachment, blackberry and banana, and both turned out creamy and delicious with the texture of soft serve. Each recipe made one to one and a half quarts of the mix, but expanded to fill the entire two quart bowl by the time they were finished. One batch of plain vanilla ice cream didn't fully freeze though. It started to in the beginning, but partway through, condensation appeared on the outside of the bowl and it never progressed to the desired end result. While it mixed wonderfully, we eventually poured it into a container and stuffed it in the freezer. It tasted great after it fully froze. It just didn't reach the point when it should have. Number 4. KitchenAid Grain Mill Attachment there's growing interest in processing small batches of grains at home for artisan bread making and unique pastry recipes. The KitchenAid all metal grain mill is slightly smaller than other mills, but it also costs substantially less than industrial and professional models. It's also far easier to use than a hand cranked grain mill that can quickly make a fun project cumbersome. It works slowly but produces commercial quality flour, so prepare yourself to exercise a little patience for a satisfying final product. One of the most popular uses of the mill is for grinding corn into fresh masa harina flour for making tortillas. KitchenAid advises using the grain mill for low moisture and low oil ingredients like wheat, oil, corn, rye, barley, buckwheat, millet, rice and other cereals. If you're interested in processing nuts, consider breaking them down in the food processor into small pieces first and working slowly to avoid the mill overheating. Number 3. KitchenAid Gourmet Pasta Press Attachment If you're looking to expand your pasta making capabilities, this attachment is great for making fun, unique pasta shapes like bugatini, fusilli and rigatoni. We actually tested it for our roundup of the best pasta makers and loved how simple it is to use. All you need to do is attach it to your KitchenAid mixer, drop in walnut sized pieces of dough and use the attached cutter to slice your pasta where you want it. Number 2. KitchenAid Food Processor with Commercial Style Dicing Kit While the attachment won't work for some tasks, such as mixing dough or prepping pesto, it does slice, dice, shred and julienne. The versatile accessory comes with a commercial style dicing kit to quickly chop veggies in the size of your choice thanks to the exact slice system, which you can adjust using a lever on the side of the unit. The attachment is quite large and may be challenging for some to store, but it mounts easily onto the stand's mixer's power hub and a storage case keeps the different discs organized and protected. 
Reviewers rave about the ease and speed at which it cuts ingredients for recipes, put produce or cheese into the tube and feed them into the processor using the included food pusher. Number 1. KitchenAid 3-piece pasta roller and cutter attachment set One of the trickiest parts about making pasta is rolling it evenly, so you end up with noodles that are all the same thickness. A pasta roller makes that simple. Like many of the mixer's attachments, it hooks into the motor through the knob on the mixer's head, simply feed the pasta into the roller and catch it on the other side. Flat sheets are great for making lasagna noodles or filled pasta like ravioli, but the set also comes with cuffers for thin and thick noodles so you don't have to cut the pasta by hand. We found that the rollers and cutters were solidly built and easy to attach and detach. After setup, the machine basically did all the work for us, creating perfectly perforated, presentation-worthy noodles with almost no effort. The only obstacle was keeping up with the cutters as they churned out row after row of fresh pasta. So that wraps up our list of the best KitchenAid attachments. Hope you found this video helpful and if so, please leave a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which KitchenAid attachments you're going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helps you in any way, please give this video a like and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.